So why do you wear those headphones again? What? Why are you wearing those headphones again? It cuts out all of the outside. They want to isolate more so I can hear how tight or loose we are. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. It's more like the studio, you know, all this stuff's gone. So he can, so he can get comfortable and rehearse his studio technique, his earphones. <laughs> If you're doing those giant notes, then the other guitar could definitely be playing. What about a rhythm within it, like a... Cool to sing over just you two doing that, and then the guitars come in. Are you playing the fifth or the fourth? Are you going to the fourth? The fifth? We were playing that major. We used to play huh? We used to play that major. Did you want to change it to minor? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going around right there. Like, what would you do if it was minor? So I'm only changing the root, but not the minor note. So I mean, that's that's let's just try. Let's just try that. Okay, that's what I would do. Bird. 
was just da 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 da. Yeah. da. Oh. Something's gonna happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I think let's leave it alone for now. Let's see. Are we talking about like you know four sections got looked at, or this is more like on a hate train? We put a pick scrape as a third as an overdub track over the snare roll coming out of the intro. So it's either you use it or don't use it, which is why, um, you know, <laughs> right. Okay. Um, and then the other one in Hate Train was a note that he thought was bent low. You can listen. We need Hate Train anyway. All right. Uh, it's very, it's literally one note that he said he couldn't sleep while he was in Hawaii because I think that's what he said, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's. You know. Okay. Well, I won't notice it. Probably not. Just because of that. No, if you do it. notice it, nah, I think you'll like it better. That was good. I mean, that felt good. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of good pieces. Those few spots from stop and whatever. But how does that feel do, Lars? If it's gonna be up that fast, so a lot of those, then we gotta go out and get some of those. Yeah. Because they drag, and then, unless the dragging feel is okay. But to me, it feels like it kinda slows it down a bit. The only thing I think we should play, like maybe a half a dozen times, just as an, I think we should play the last chorus. Yeah. Because the last chorus, I think, should have, the last yeah. chorus shouldn't be like nine little edits together. It should, be like one that really has a the tag with the, 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 the little climbing thing. No, the the, the last chorus, the fast. Okay. There you go. You know. Yeah. And I don't feel that I've played one that's as exciting as we played in San Francisco. Okay. The drum pattern that I'm playing on the front half, I don't think applies. I, something could be better on on that new thing. I think we can look at that as a separate thing. We just hear that new chorus. Second chorus. Second chorus. Take two. I'm gonna actually hit every one of those tons. Yeah. Which I haven't really done. Might even get more. You've always done done that beat, the kind of skippy one. Don't. We're gonna try something just a little more straight ahead. I don't know. Uh, might sound too plotty. It just. And if it's if it's a little fast and that beat is on, it just it does. It sounds. It's not as heavy as it could be. When it's slow, it reminds me of a stomach ache I once had. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it sounds good slow. So we got conflict of a... Uh, when it's too slow, too it's too slow. When it's too fast, it's too fast. But when it's right, it's great. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> Pretty much apply that to most things. Play? <laughs> How does feel, Lars? Second phrase there was pretty good. I thought the last this is good too. We're very happy. Sure. I'm gonna buy a bigger model. Cause I can't I can't bear to see you squint like this. Don't we have a bigger model? 
I can't bear to see me squint like that. <laughs> With or without the wah pedal. <laughs> Get a mic stand. Yeah, that one's a good one. Yeah. So, you know, the star, the R's didn't work, yeah. so I tried to put in more of the aim sound. Yeah. Uh, so, hate is a train, the thunder's aimless in my head, and hate plays a game, or hate is the claim, hate is the fame. Fame was kind of cool. Chain to the wheel till I'm dead, which it gets maybe a little, maybe too personal. I like it. <laughs> he is the fame chained to the wheel till I'm dead. Yeah, well, I love chained to the wheels till I'm dead. I think fame is better than claim. Yeah, it's I mean, you basically start happens. running out of yeah, words yeah. that rhyme with that, you know, and they start getting more obscure and ridiculous. Yeah. You know. I really like I'm left to drown in sorrow. Is sorrow a, a, a too too much of a used word for you? Do you think? No, it's all it's all through the chorus. So it might be okay. Shadow doesn't rhyme quite enough. Not as good. But, you know, curse to ride forever. <clears throat> Could work if maybe it's ended differently, you know? Yeah. You know, starts low and goes up a little more, you know? Curse to ride forever. You know, it ended more of yeah. up thing. I don't know how I could get there. I like the, I like the rhyme better, though, I think, given the choice. And, and Left to Drown in Sorrow is probably real good. Okay. Try that. Yeah. See how it sings, but on the paper it looks real good. <laughs> it looks good, man. It's good on paper. Yeah. All right. Can't tell until you sing it, but I love the... It, like, it feels more... Just looking at the words, they look better than they did yesterday. So it's a good starting point. That's not bad. Huh? That was pretty good. Sound right? It's pretty close, yeah. It's right, yeah. I, I mapped it out. Okay. Because sometimes I don't know if there's the even the shine, up, you know, the extended thing. Yeah, you did it. It's three times. Yeah, the song. Yeah, because it, it'll only on the second verse is it a short verse. All right. So. Again. Yeah. The tempo, the tempo and the slow bit is still a mystery to me. I don't know. It's like I seem to, it feels like I started too slow, and then when we, then when the drums come in, it's, it doesn't feel right. So, I don't know, that's a real, that's one of those tempos we have, we have to get right on it. It felt pretty in the pocket right there. It felt pretty good. Okay. It's your Yeah, no, it is. Mm -hmm. I tried. All right, that's enough of that shit, right? 
Come on, one more time. I think one more the, uh, we might have to cut the middle to a click. I'll be fine. I feel, I feel you, you're pushing. Maybe not on purpose, but it, it makes the guitar feel like it's dragging. We either got to be spot on or the drums got to drag back and let the guitar push it, you know? Sure. How far are you going, Kurt? Kurt, how far are you going on your tail? Do -do 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 are you going four frets? What's that now? Do it again. Do the do what you played again. The did it did it did it. Now you got to go four. No, one more. First one's E. Oh yeah. So if I ask a question and I don't get an answer, I'll presume you didn't hear it. Okay. That's correct, yes. We did not understand what you said. Is the tempo for the intro the same as the body of the song, or is there a different no. tempo? It's, it's slightly higher. Um, there's a count-in tempo that you were doing, and then there's the actual tempo during the hi-hat stuff off the top. To me, it, it sounds like there's three parts. There's the body of the song. Well, I mean, there's the middle bit too, but if the intro is a little faster than the body of the song, and then that build, you know, the dun 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 dun, dun seemed a little slower even. So when the song kicked in, it kind of bumped. Bump. This is what, the demo? Uh -huh. Is that accurate? Unless we want them to be, totally you know. No, they don't need to. No, 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 just that point of reference to start with. We've definitely been playing the intro too slow. Yes. Yeah. So let's uh, start it. See what happens. What it is there? Is that the place? It starts right away, right there. So it's before the next one. After, after a full cycle with the chorus and the sword whip and everything, then so after, after the first back. chorus. Huh? After the first chorus. Yes. We're extending what? Where did they just stop? They didn't uh, get to the second them. verse. They didn't get to the chorus. No, they didn't counting. get to it. It's the it same as before. There was supposed to be a, a, a round the of before the, yeah, before the verse started. That's what What's they that tempo like in there? Maybe on the quick side. Yeah. Although, okay. that being said, that had definitely the most spunk of anything that we've done yet. It was cooking. It felt cool. The intro definitely sounded good. The intro was really good. I mean, the verse was, it was maybe on the quick side, but I don't know that it was bad. Okay. I mean, it definitely had, it, was, it had fire. It was moving along good. What third verse? If you count the second one as a second verse instead of a B part of the first verse, then it's the third, yes. Okay. The easiest way to say it is after the first chorus. Okay. What were you saying? On the demo, the snare is so loud. Oh, it's also dad. I mean, it's like Zach was waiting in car parts or something that morning, and the snare would just look, it looked like corduroy at that point. Right. And Fleming wasn't around, right? Zach, was, Zach tunes the snare a lot lower than what Fleming does. Yeah. So I mean, it sounded like a bucket of the sand. Yeah, it's but like there's the, something about it not, not like, like if I turn it down, it feels better. And this. He's singing. Right? Because on a demo, it's dan on a dan on a ka 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 ka
What the tempo from last night was? Temple from yesterday was was uh, was basically 121, 122. And that's that was 126. Uh, in rehearsal, it tended to be right 123, 124. 124, pretty solid. Was you know when you guys found the groove and it was locking, it was like that was 124. All right, good well, there. Let's let's reference but, that though. Yeah, but again, the count in is 110. <laughs> so you so you know it may sound a little funny fast off the top, like from if, if you hear the count in, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But, but just so I'm saying, so when you hear the click, just think of the riff instead of. So the way the demo's built, the, the intro's faster than the song, or are they pretty much the same? Uh, the intro actually was a little bit faster. It was 126, I believe. To me, there's kind of three parts in yeah. the demo. Yeah, there are. Yeah. There's the top bit, you know, yeah. -da -da -na 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 -na, and then there's the... Mm -hmm. Which yeah, the is head, supposed to be faster, actually, but it one, actually sounds kind of cool. The demo slower. is 128 right when they had the intro, and then when it comes into the, the heavy stuff, it's 126. But the toms, it goes right down to 119. Yeah. Right? It's down a bit there. And then it picks up again to get into the actual verse and the riff. It goes up there. 125 okay. on the riff part. So, and the intro again is where? 128. 128, right, right off the top. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's the I think that feels there. better, faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that t that's actually where the verse and the tenor sit okay. on the demo. Well, I think if we just go out there and get used to playing the verse feel in the 124, is that what it is? Yeah. Or five? 124, 124 is probably the best, yeah, right in there start off with that feel, you know, and then go back and then start, you know, mm -hmm. with the intro click and then hopefully we can nail the feel. Because I would like to be able to push. Just overall, just slightly flat. You dig harder when you're playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm digging harder, man. I dig. I dig it. Okay, play this five. Um, this dig. Coming in on the preverse. On the preverb. Preverted. 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 Preverse. 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 Perverse. On the perverse. Coming in on the perverse. So after the shot, it's the bum, 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 bum. Perverse. Preverse. Ready? Here we go. Have a listen, we'll see if how we're locking up. Because it, it can have a tendency to sound a little stiff, it right? It still sounds like, I, it sounds like that part is cool. The part that you got me playing is cool. But I don't hear him doing that. I hear him going. Yeah, yeah he is. He but is, I so like, if you want to follow him, you can. But I like this. Yeah. That you got. Because you're more driving. Yeah, let's hear it. Have a listen, I'll just, let me just like put that. the. Uh, Really subtle, but because when it locks up, it sounds really good. It's but very it's really cool. Subtle. That yeah. that was tight. This is my favorite part. Right here. So. Just before the guitar That's comes in. That's a good in. vibe right that there. That fucking really is good right there. <laughs> the robot comes in and... <laughs> that was a sound. You know, it sounds good. I'd like to A-B it against the thing and then we could decide we want to try to make any change. I don't, I don't see a need to... It feels good. ...to change it. At a louder volume, that, that that sound, the track sounds a little loose. Yeah. The fizziness of it. Well, it's just the breaking fun. up a little. Yeah. yeah. It's tight. We have a tighter, a throatier sound. Yeah. I just have to hit hit some of them open a little more you know, instead of that. <laughs> 
To hear the tune, check the doom guy. What's the part? The, the open note should be in. That's pretty good. And with the back guy's super important. He's a little up. Sounds okay, huh? The other thing you could do is you could shift it slightly. If it's if in place it's too early, take the note from 26. Mm -hmm. But I'm back in place, yeah? What, what I meant was, since it's in place, what I would do is just move it like, you know, if you tap it, like... There you go. A little later. That's good, right? Yeah. Oh! After that, it's uninteresting. After that. Around here. Yeah. Well, that cut's good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's hear that. I know there's a few other things that you wanted to also do. Would it be better if we just kind of went song by song through and said, okay, we need the solo here, we need some rhythm stuff here. Yeah, so we're just focused on a song That's a good instead idea. of jumping around and mm -hmm. with, just because we have the sound. Yeah. I'm going to focus on Shine first then. Okay. If I remember correctly, Shine's one of the more straight up ones. So for the solo itself, it might be itself. cool having like a... Right. Yeah. Just another 15th song in that riff right there. Yeah, man. We'll just make these better. I'm going to start with that solo. Uh, no, the melody. Back. This thing does not function. We've got to make it work, man. Yeah. This is what we used on Ride the Lightning. I'm not sure about puppets, probably. So where's those pedals? I have no idea. And James, where do that you... That was only... I know, it's 25 years ago or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Sing in the context and how it changes the meaning of the song, or if it changes. 
Holy Revolver. Holy Revolver sounds and sings well. Yeah. But you know, what is it? it might be one of those things that people do what? Yeah. Hey, it's raining. Hey man, what is it? It's for the heater. Oh, it is? We got a little stand-up heater. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> hey, I'm shorter. My shoes are in there. <laughs> no? No, I'll lower it. Might be a little easier. The boots give you the vibe, man. Because you can't hear the rain in there because you hear it in there. <laughs> Is it coming down pretty good? It's nice. Mm, I'm at the door again in the sound of the wicked revolver. In the sound of the willing revolver. In the sound of the mustard revolver. The sound of the holy revolver. Should we do, um, whoa, whoa, what do you want to do? I mean, because there's so many options now. What do we do? Every, every verse, try a different one. So we've got one, two, six, seven. Oh, we're singing a lot. All right, I'll try. <laughs> we're going back and forth. Yeah, man. Here we go. Scratch out all this other stuff. I'm not mad. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm not mad. Thanks for turning down, by the way. I, I, I can hear everything now. Hey, Mike? Yes, I'm here. Uh, why was he? Why did he literally blow my ears out? He yelled pretty, pretty loud in here. Oh, God. Sorry about that. No worries. I was just wondering if something changed. Did you hear that, too? I heard, I heard what you were hearing. I heard it through your ears. Through your head. Is he going to come out and say hello to his old father? Or what's he doing? Hang on, I'll find out. Okay. So it's a seven count it goes oh, to it. Let's go. I mean maybe what's thrown me a little bit, I mean I can tell you that I've never recorded with baffles or kind of like a, a wall like that that mm -hmm. close. Okay. Uh, and I'm not against it, but I think it's probably what's just kind of giving me that well, this change, that changes the sound really quite a bit in here. I, it's I, listen, I, I can, I, I'm, I'm a pretty uh, adjustable kind of guy. I, I can get used to anything. It's really different. Just right. the, the feel of the drum kit when I'm sitting playing it than, than what I've been doing for the last year and what we've been doing. On previous records, it feels really dull. Closed in? Okay. Yeah, kind of where I'm sitting, you know what I mean? Okay. You can get rid of this, the ones on the side and just have a couple things behind you. We can just put a wall behind you. We can flip them so that the hard side is facing in. I wouldn't leave them that close if I did that. If you're used to a more open feel from where you're sitting, let's open it up. Let's see what we get. I don't know. I, I, are we listening? We're not listening to any ambience whatsoever. That's just no, and that's kick. just the kick solo there. But I right. can give you some ambience. The thing that says kit right. and room. They're both. We need to change the name of this. This is a closer room now, and this is a f further away room. So that's right. It's roomy, but it's kind of close to the kit. It won't get into control. 
So that's still on. That is still on, yes. So I can go stomp in the kick drum. I like the old one has has more body, more depth in the low end. Um, if we're playing a song where you're ripping fast, it's probably going to be too much. But it's easy to get rid of it, not easy to find it in the other end. But I, I think either the kicks can come up a little bit, the chilly, yeah, or or I can tweak the EQs a little bit differently to make it kind of have that effect. So this is so much lifting. So that was good overall. The run straight to Helen back, bomb, 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 bombs, almost always feel rushed. So let's watch that spot. We need to rehearse the intro a couple of times because I don't think we got it right. But once we rehearse the intro, we'll tune up the snare and go again for whole take. I would say 90% of the body of that felt very good. The vibe is a lot better and it feels up and alive. We've done two full takes on it, so we change it for the cut -ins. What was that? We've done two full takes on it. Should we change it for the cut -ins? I'm not sure yet. I can see, just give us the right pitch to see where it sits. Listen to something in here for a minute, Fleming, so I think that was a hole there. Right. Can't see this thing in the way. We were checking this. Can't see with my hand in the way. <laughs> I just need to hear that transition. Oh, I, I don't feel like I nailed that right, transition right, yeah, one yeah. time, but maybe. <laughs> that part again? No, I needed to hear if I nailed that. I, I didn't feel like I really nailed it, but he says we nailed it. So we might need a argue. hammer? So I need to hear that snare now. I'm not allowed, it's a union thing, I'm not allowed to hit it between takes. Say again? You want me to do it? I'm not allowed to hit it between takes, it's a union thing. Um, um, I want to hear Fleming. Fleming? He was making a part of that. Take that and take it, put it over the master and see if we can put some that very, or at least just the back variation in or something, you know, for right starting right. with the one right. again. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly. Fuck, and why didn't you say something when we were tracking? Jeez. This is, I like it just the way it is. That's just because it's easier. Yeah, I'm always I'm the first one to go the easy route. <laughs> I heard about you. You almost jump over where the fucking fence is lowest, you know? On the 
four for Christ's sake. In the ballpark? Yeah. It's not level. It's like gauge. No, no, no. I know that. It, it, it's yeah. but this. It, it it might not have been dialed in as regular tuning. Right. You got to you got to keep in mind that that I could also open the back and start adjusting the preamp level, which adds tone. It also has a mid range toggle. Mm -hmm. But you guys have done that. You guys went through it, right? right? But you know what though? It might have been a, a D song, and, and it was for sad but true. There's so many, these, these guitars are really difficult to get them to be like one another. Right. That's why I'd love to play something else. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a composite neck, right? Yeah, it's different. This it's, one's a composite neck. Yeah, it's different. So it's, it's going to be... It's bolt-on. It's bolt-on, too. Look. It's better for, you know... It's good for that kind of stuff. Hear it within the track. Yeah, let's try it with. That's always the task. Yeah. I mean, that's, we can sit here and theorize about it all we want. Wrong note. What is that? Wrong note. <laughs> oh, it was you. <laughs> all right. Good. Why don't we get this whole section here with you on? Because if we're gonna, if we're going from the silver to the silver okay. here, this okay. section should be the silver. I agree. And we're in the solo, so it's not going to be. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. It's cool because he he kind of. Lars kind of brings it back a little. Yeah. Now we just need the tails on mm -hmm. the tag guy, this guy yeah. right here. That's it. Then we're going to San Francisco. <laughs> the hood rats will roll. That was that felt good. I don't know. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Got it. That's the list. All right, man. We're good. Go, you your hat. That's right. Off to. Uh, so this is base OD. Off to the Fortnite. rain, brother. Fortnite, right? Yeah. It's right off there. to the rain, because that's what's happening at Horn. Second one. That's the second one we call it, right? You have a preference? They both sound good. They're both good but different. The first one to me, you can feel the girth a little more. The second one is a little more narrow in your face. Yeah. Sounds like. What is the second one the amp with the amp bag? Uh, second one is, yes, it's with the amp bag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're both good. I mean, for this song, you know, there's not a lot of good, you know, yeah. it's, it's a little more ACDC-ish. Yeah. Yeah, the what? preference? The first one sounded bigger, but uh, but the, the second one sounded tougher. I don't know what it means. Yeah, it just sounded like, agree. tougher, like a little yeah. bit more. Or, yeah, like it's a little more biceps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's got that, and yeah, that you know, doubled up on something like that, getting that thing there would sound really cool. Right. It definitely created a little bit more space for you could hear like, the symbols and stuff that was happening in there. Mm -hmm. But then again, with the first one, it was kind of nice because it did soften some of that right. rashy symbol yeah, stuff. Yeah, they are both good. Kind of the, the uh, the one thing that I'm going to have a tough time listening to something like that is, is that I, I have the unfortunate experience of listening to these tracking, these floor takes more than anyone. So the the second one, the one with the Ampeg, is a touch more like the one I'm used to hearing. Also, I think it's like I'm like I'm, I gravitate. That sounds more more right or something to me. Oh, I see. So you guys have a little bit of a benefit there. Like you're not really, you, Mike. You've heard it a fair amount. I, I, <laughs> with, with some, that second one with a little bit tougher thing is I hear a little bit more of the character and how you're playing yeah. it. I can actually hear like you know when you take a note and you shake or you pull. The other one's a lot smoother, mm -hmm. you know, so you love. So and that's has more to do with where you want to go with the feel yeah. and the song. So well, I think I think the amp is good. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. I think it helps. But on certain songs, <clears> you yeah. know, 
that, that might not be the yeah. case. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're here, he's there. It's a little, it's it a is. Crangy, crying, crangier. Yeah. Which is not that bad, I guess. It's a smaller sounding guitar. Yeah. That's why. How's that feeling? Uh, I think I need to be louder. And I think I need a, 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 a little bit more gain. More gain? A little bit more. Okay. Because this is adding a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, just maybe it's just crank that guy right Well, you're not getting enough sustain? Sustain, or? yeah. Okay. You know those gate pedals that have the little loop and just put this this pedal in the loop of the gate? As yeah, long as Jack has like a million of those things. Yeah, yeah there's a, a whole box of gates. Yeah, they so, have one too. So. Just so this pedal kicks on only mm -hmm. once you start playing. We'll, we'll make it soften. A little bit of this when you start and stop is fine. Mm -hmm. I can always clean it up in Pro Tools. It's just while we're trying to have a discussion about the part, yeah, it's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. There's some fucking what? I don't know, man. 18k in there. It's what, raining. What are you talking about? Dude? It's raining. Good man. Mmm. 
day. Yeah. Okay, let's do the second one again. change those around and make it, you know, a little bit more micro-interesting. Oh, we'll just get a tail that sounds better. Sounds best and do it. Well, I like the one that we, 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 that's well, on there. Go show cool. me that. <laughs> you played it. Well, show me what I played. <laughs> Sound like me, bro. That's not good. Like a musical uh, memory loss. Musical amnesia. That's me. Musical amnesia. I'm gonna patent that term. Yeah. You guys are great, man. No, you should. I should. You should I, I, I should join in with you. <laughs> So Mike, you'll make a note of just to cut that very last one onto it, and then Kurt's just gotta finish the solo. Yeah. And then we have a, a rough demo of that, I think. And right? You have to fly all the other vocals in because my cold is kicking my ass right now. But apart from that, from the ending, the solo and the vocals were good. And the bass is nice. Yeah. But it sounds great. Are you going ba 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 ba? Or are you going ba 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 ba? On the very first one. Ba 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 ba. Okay. What's the first one? Ba 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 ba. No, they're all ba. They're all ba 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 ba. Speeds up a lot in a solo. Let me tell you something. I listened to a bunch of versions last night. A lot. And um, I don't hear, it's pretty steady all the way through. So I don't know if just the correlation between our tiredness or whatever, but at least the stuff, maybe today, but the stuff we did yesterday, it's pretty solid. You know, the You're last telling time. me something. Yes. But what we just played right. didn't seem like yesterday. Okay, that's right. But the stuff, because yesterday, the first thing you said after the last take was it sped up fucking hell off. And when you listen to the tape, it didn't really speed up. And last night, so in the beginning, slower now. Because then the part, uh, you know, the that gets when it's so fast, it doesn't. We're not playing it as good as we could. Hey guys, you want to come in here and listen to something real quick for five? For five bucks. slow compared to the fast one yeah and it's just it is it feels stiff and kind of plotty yeah instead of swinging yeah i think we're still in the process of warming up right but it is kind of different than not forgiven just get them all just get them all flag them all yeah Hey, that's a new. Uh, that's an album title. Album title. Flag them all. James, you want the uh, strap off? Did you stop? It was him playing. It was him playing. Okay. Okay. Um, can I hear real quick just the Les Paul? Just curious. That sounds. Yeah, that's that's pretty obvious. That sounds pretty much like the guitar we tracked. So we've got that sound really close, I think. 
question is, can we beat it? It might be a little, it might need a little. <laughs> This has a little more spit on the top. That one has a little more body. Definitely. They're both good. Man. But I'm leaning toward maybe if we put uh, a pedal on it, this would sound more aggressive. Okay. Probably. More nightmarish. Okay, cool. Three riffs in a row that are just like ha! Yeah. hammering. So I'll drop you that in. Piano on that piano solo. The piano solo is like, awesome. I'm glad I caught that. Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> <in the house. laughs> Jerry Lee steps in. <laughs> 